What is diphenhydramine? Diphenhydramine is an antihistamine and sedative mainly used to treat allergies, insomnia, and symptoms of the common cold. It is also less commonly used for tremor in Parkinsonism and nausea. It is taken by mouth, injected into a vein, injected into a muscle, applied to the skin. Diphenhydramine was first made by George Reveschel and came into commercial use in 1946. It is available as a generic medication. It is sold under the brand name Benadryl, among others. In 2020, it was the 192nd most commonly prescribed medicine in the United States, with more than 2 million prescriptions. What is diphenhydramine used for? Diphenhydramine is a first-generation histamine H1 receptor antagonist, H1 antihistamine, that is widely available as a non-prescription, over-the-counter, OTC, medication. As an OTC medication, diphenhydramine is typically formulated as tablet creams indicated for use in treating sneezing, runny nose, itchy-slash-watery eyes, itching of nose or throat, insomnia, pruritus, urticaria, insect bites slash stings, allergic rashes, and nausea. Additionally, when the use of oral diphenhydramine is impractical, there are also prescription-only functions such as diphenhydramine injection products that are effective in adults and pediatric patients, other than premature infants and neonates, for, i, the amelioration of allergic reactions to blood or plasma, in anaphylaxis as an adjunct to epinephrine and other standard measures after acute allergic reaction symptoms controlled, and for other uncomplicated allergic conditions of the immediate type when oral therapy is impossible or contraindicated, 2. The active treatment of motion sickness, and 3. Use in Parkinsonism when oral therapy is impossible or contraindicated, as follows, Parkinsonism in the elderly who are unintolerate more potent agents, mild cases of Parkinsonism in other age groups, and in other cases of Parkinsonism in combination with centrally acting anticholinergic agents. Contraindication Diphenhydramine is contraindicated in premature infants and neonates, as well as people who are breastfeeding. It is a pregnancy, category B drug. Diphenhydramine has additive effects with alcohol and other CNS depressants. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors prolong and intensify the anticholinergic effect of antihistamines. Side effects Diphenhydramine is a potent anticholinergic agent and potential deliriant in higher doses. This activity is responsible for the side effects of dry mouth and throat, increased heart rate, pupil dilation, urinary retention, constipation, and, at high doses, hallucinations, lyrium. Other side effects include motor impairment, ataxia, flushed skin, blurred vision at near point owing to lack of accommodation, cycloplegia, abnormal sensitivity, to bright light, photophobia, sedation, difficulty concentrating, short-term memory loss, visual disturbances, irregular breathing, dizziness, irritability, itchy skin, confusion, increased body temperature, in general, in the hands and or feet, temporary erectile dysfunction, and excitability, and although it can be used to treat nausea, higher doses may cause vomiting. Diphenhydramine in overdose may occasionally result in cutie prolongation. Pharmacodynamic. Diphenhydramine has antihistaminic, H1 receptor, antiemetic, antivertigo, and sedative and hypnotic properties. The antihistamine action occurs by blocking the spasmogenic and congestive effects of histamine by competing with histamine for H1 receptor sites on effectors, preventing but not reversing responses mediated by histamine alone. Such receptor sites may be found in the gut, uterus, large blood vessels, bronchial muscles, and elsewhere. Antiemetic action is by inhibition at the medullary chemoreceptor trigger zone. Antivertigo action is by a central escherinic effect on the vestibular apparatus and the integrative vomiting center and medullary chemoreceptor trigger zone of the midbrain. Mechanism of action. Diphenhydramine predominantly works via the antagonism of H1, histamine 1, receptors. Such H1 receptors are located on respiratory smooth muscles, vascular endothelial cells, the gastrointestinal tract, GIT, cardiac tissue, immune cells, the and the central nervous system, CNS, neurons. 
When the H1 receptor is stimulated in these tissues, it produces a variety of actions, including increased vascular permeability, promotion of vasodilation, causing flushing, decreased atrioventricular (AV) node conduction time, stimulation of sensors of airways producing coughing, smooth muscle contraction of bronchi and the GIT, and eosinophilic chemotaxis that promotes the allergic immune response. Ultimately, diphenhydramine functions as an inverse agonist at H1 receptors, and subsequently reverses effects of histamine on capillaries, reducing allergic reactions. Moreover, since diphenhydramine is a first-generation antihistamine, it readily crosses the blood-brain barrier and inversely agonizes the H1 CNS receptors, resulting in drowsiness and suppressing the medullary cough center. Lastly, Diphenhydromine has also demonstrated activity as an intralar sodium channel blocker, resulting in possible local anesthetic properties. Half-life The elimination half-life ranges from 2.4 to 9.3 hours in healthy adults. The terminal elimination half-life is prolonged in liver cirrhosis. Dose Allergic reaction 25 to 50 mg POQ6-8HR not to exceed 300 mg per day. 10 to 50 mg, no more than 100 mg, for slash IMQ 4-6 HR, not to exceed 400 mg per day. Insomnia. 50 mg, PO 30 minutes, before bedtime. Cough. 25 to 50 mg, PO Q4 HR, PRN, syrup preferred, not to exceed 150 mg per day. Motion sickness. Treatment or prophylaxis: 25 to 50 mg POQ6-8HR alternatively, 10 to 50 mg slash dose for treatment, may use up to 100 mg if needed, not to exceed 400 mg Parkinsonism. 25 mg POQ8HR initially, then 50 mg POQ6HR, not to exceed 300 mg per day. Alternatively, 10 to 50 mg 4 at a rate not to exceed 25 mg per minute, not to exceed 400 mg per day, may also administer 100 mg IM required. Safety Advice Diphenhydromine has been assigned to pregnancy category B by the FDA. Animal studies have failed to reveal teratogenicity. The Collaborative Perinatal Project reported 595 first-trimester exposures and 2,948 exposures any time during pregnancy. No relationship was found to large categories of malformations. Motion sickness. Treatment or prophylaxis. 25 to 50 mg POQ6-8HR alternatively, 10 to 50 mg slash dose for treatment, may use up to 100 mg if needed to exceed 400 mg Parkinsonism. 25 mg POQ8HR initially, then 50 mg POQ6HR, not to exceed 300 mg per day. Alternatively, 10 to 50 mg 4 at a rate not to exceed 25 mg per minute, not to exceed 100 mg per day, may also administer 100 mg IM required. Safety Advice Diphenhydromine has been assigned to pregnancy category B by the FDA. Animal studies have failed to reveal teratogenicity. The Collaborative Perinatal Project reported 595 first trimester exposures and 2,948 exposures any time during pregnancy. No relationship was found to large categories of malformations. That's all the information about diphenhydromine we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.